The government and the ruling party coined the term Papu. You use it to denigrate, to signify extreme in incompetence. Let me use the next few minutes to point out what the data, the statistics tell us as to who the actual Papu really is. NSO numbers were out yesterday. Industrial output has shrunk by 4% in October to a 26-month low. The manufacturing sector contracted 5.6%. Manufacturing is still the biggest generator of jobs. 17 of the industry sectors that make up the index of industrial production have recorded negative growth rates. Forex reserves have fallen by $72 billion in under a year. The Honorable Finance Minister yesterday during question hour mentioned how apparently 50% of FII inflows into emerging markets are coming into India. Wonderful! But her colleague, the Minister of State for External Affairs, just last Friday, in response to a question in this very house, stated that almost 2 lakh people, 1,83,741 people, renounced their Indian citizenship in the first 10 months of 2022. This exodus in 2022 takes the total number of Indians renouncing Indian citizenship under this government in the past nine years since 2014 to over 12 and a half lakh people. This year has already seen more people giving up Indian citizenship than any single given year. High net worth individuals are willing to pay up to a million dollars to get citizenship of Portugal, of St. Kitts, of Greece. Is this the sign of a healthy economic environment? of a healthy tax environment? Who's the Papu now? <coughs> there is an atmosphere of terror in this country with the sword of the Enforcement Directorate hanging over businessmen and high net worth individuals. The ruling party buys lawmakers for hundreds of crores, and yet members of the opposition represent 95% of lawmakers under investigation by the Enforcement Directorate. But forget politicians. They're tough. They can fend for themselves. Businessmen and high net worth individuals are soft targets. In the monsoon session, in response to a query from my honorable colleague from the JDU, Mr. Rajiv Rajiv,